All right, uh, Jalen, real quick, uh, this was your first uh, like real practice. I know you've been going out to the individual workouts. Uh, how did it go, and, and, and was it like a wow, this is the NBA? <laughs> what did you think about how, how, how day one as far as a full practice went for you? Oh, that was exciting, though. Coming into it, you know, pumping yourself up for your first practice. Uh, that's probably the first time I played against so many people in months. But it was overall it was good. You know, I got to get some running and got to learn some things from the guys. And pretty much it was just a learning day. Next up is Kellen Olson with Arizona Sports. He'll be followed by Brendan Klain. Hey, Jalen. Uh, yeah, I, I was assuming it was that, right, where you haven't played against other people in, in months now. Is that something that's going to take a little while to get used to after not doing it for a while? Was it right back into things? How was it for you? Uh, it was it was right back. I mean, I'm a competitive person. Uh, I, I take pride in my effort and my intensity. And pretty much it was just getting right back to it. So it didn't take a while to adjust. I mean, I got the hang of everything and I got the flow of everything and I was just moving from there. Next up is Brendan Clean with Bright Side of the Sun. He'll be followed by Nicole Jarena. Hey, Dylan. Not, not exactly a basketball question, but I'm just kind of curious and kind of uh, hoping it wasn't too bad for you to get settled here during, uh, with everything going on with the virus and everything, to, to get kind of planted down in a new city and all that. How has that process gone for you? Everything okay? Uh, it was fine. I mean, I stayed in a hotel for about a week and a half, and I got tired of it, so I had to get out and get my own house and my own car because I didn't really want to stay in a hotel much more. But at that, after that, everything just adjusted well, you know. Got back onto the court, got in for workouts, and everything just started flowing. Next up is Nicole Jarena with Tad Deportes. She'll be followed by Kellen Olson. Hi, Jalen from Puerto Rico. How are you doing? Hi. As a rookie player, what you expected to learn from a veteran guy as Chris Paul to improve in your game? Uh, pretty much just how they, how they maintain success in the league and how they carry themselves on and off the court. And pretty much uh, I try to take nitpicks of advice from Chris Paul here and there just to continue to, to grow myself and then learn from DeAndre and get some tips from Devin and all the other guys around. So it's pretty much this is like the perfect step for me because I get to learn from everybody from every position. Next step is Kellen Olsen with Arizona Sports. He'll be followed by Paul Richardson. Hey, Jalen, one of the things Monty and James talked a lot about uh, over the past couple of weeks since drafting you is that with you, Dario, and DeAndre, you guys are going to be pretty interchangeable when you're playing the same position and also when you're playing two different positions. Uh, what's that learning curve going to be like for you to uh, just be that, uh, be that guy? Because, like, the, the talent and, like, the attributes are there for all three of you guys to do it. It's just a matter of finding a, that chemistry, I would assume, right? Uh, yes, yeah, pretty much just learning from each other, learning each other's habits, tendencies, weaknesses, and stuff like that. And just when you're getting put into that moment, making sure that you're doing your, um, putting your fullest into it and just continuing to learn. And pretty much I've been playing the four or five so much that I, I already know it. Just a lot of things I've continued to learn about it, like the adjustment into the NBA and then just ways to, like, be able to play those two positions successfully. Next up is Paul Richardson with the Sports Cave. He'll be followed by Dwayne Rankin. Hey, welcome to the city, Jalen. Oh, um, what has your mindset been? How have you kept yourself mentally um, in, a, in a stable place considering how basketball ended, the length of time that you got to now you're here, a new city, like you said, got yourself a car, a new place. Mentally, how have you kept it balanced so you could get ready to actually play the game? Uh, pretty much just continuing to work, uh, just continuing to uh, get advice from the older guys and just every time I get onto the court, making sure that I'm putting my all on toward and just getting getting something out of that day. Next is Dwayne Rankin with the Arizona Republic. He'll be followed by Greg Moore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that you, you know, I'm mean, obviously just one practice, but you, you've seen the guys and you know, know a little know about their game, you know, a little bit. How do you see you fitting? Because James Jones talked about you and DeAndre playing together. Probably a situation you and Dario will be playing together. How do you see you fitting, you know, in those type of lineups uh, with those two guys? I feel as though I fit well. I mean, I always play with a dominant big um, next to me at every level. And I was able to adjust accordingly and be able to just feed off of that. And pretty much just going into the court is just 
is not playing that position is just doing what your team needs to do to get that win. So I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a challenge coming in because obviously it's a new atmosphere, but it's something I, I'm some it's something I'm used to, so it won't be much of a problem. All right, next up is Greg Moore with the Arizona Republic. Thanks, Palmer. Jalen, good to see you, man. How are you? I'm doing fine. Are you? Doing okay, man. Thank you. Um, so it seemed like there was a lot of fun, uh, like a lot of fun vibes in the air over the last week as the media, as we got to know all of the new guys. I was curious how that would translate to the court, especially on the first day. Was it was it really business like out there? Was there a lot of fun out there? Like, what was the vibe like for those of us who weren't on the court? Uh, pretty much, it was just a lot of intensity coming in, and a lot of focus. Uh, pretty much, everybody here has been played in in months, so we everybody came in with that hunger and aggression to go at each other, and pretty much it showed on the court. And a lot of, we got into a, got into a, like a I don't want to say nobody got into an argument, but it was like that. And, intensity in that fire between everybody and everybody chirping back at each other. But it was a fun day uh, just being able to get competitive with everybody.